Ah, YouTube. Hello once again. This is XX Ghost Tricks XX coming back at you for another fine Modern Warfare 2 commentary. And as you can see from the title, hopefully if you can read, which I believe you can if you are on the internet, I'm going to tell you some tips for winning L Domination. Um, because, you see, I have this happen to me all the time. When basically I get into a game and I'm going, I'm playing Domination, and it's like, yeah, I might be going for a nuke, or in this in this game I'm going for an EMP. I'll get one. You'll see. Not not till the end, so it's like not that epic, but you, you'll see. Um, but I go into a game trying to get a nuke or an EMP or even just a chopper or AC-130, just like you know the higher kill streaks, and my team is retarded it's like not even funny they just it's like i don't know if they just suck or if they're doing the same thing as me and trying to get a nuke or a uh, emp or a high kill streak just to get a lot of kills um i'm not sure but the thing is they're just going for kills they're not trying to get the flags they're not trying to win they just want the kills and it's like it's so annoying my my like kd is pretty good um I, I, could, I, I would, it would be better if I started playing Modern Warfare 2 when I was really good at it, but instead I play it, started playing when I was bad at it, because I didn't play COD 4 all that much. So, basically that meant I wasn't, like, I didn't know the game as well as I could have, as much as other people who kicked my ass when I first started. So, yeah. But... Going back to winning domination, it's not that hard. Uh, as you can see, we are losing at the moment. I mean, the, er, the game just started, so we're not actually losing by that much. But I can already tell that my team isn't really trying to get flags because I don't hear any, you know, taking B, taking A, taking C, whatever. I mean, we have it. Um, especially on Wasteland, it's really easy to take flags even by yourself because the map is so big and there's really like i mean look at this okay so i'm gonna stay right here and there's really only one place they can come from unless they're ninjas and they basically run through the middle get through all the people there and take that over i mean as you can see someone just tried to kill me with a grenade but that was probably from the b side so i mean as that person who just passed me before when i was capturing c what i mean i don't understand why they couldn't have just you know, stood there for the extra second of their life, lives, and helped me take C, because I would have taken it faster, and then he would have taken it faster, and then they'd be spawning at B, and when, on Wasteland, when the team spawns at B, and you have A and C, it's super, it's pretty easy to get kills, because you can honestly, uh, just sort of camp the middle, or camp the sides, like, and... Or not camp, I'm sorry for all you people who don't like campers. Strategically place yourself in positions where enemies are coming from to get kills. There you go. Are you happy now? I hope you are. I thought that was pretty good, actually. That was a pretty good uh, definition of uh, camping in awesome words. So, yeah. Also, as you can see, I'm sniping. I'm not trying to use, like, a super running class. Usually when I start out on Wasteland, um, I will start with a running class because I always try to get B. Because originally I thought the best way to win this on this map is get B and get either A or C and then have them spawn because then they're sort of stuck in a corner. But then I found out that it's actually better um, to get A and C and spawn them at B because even though they have so much they can run either to C or to A side or through the middle so they have three like exit slash entry points they're sort of stuck on that one side and it's 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 easy to get kills but yeah um so winning domination is not hard as you can see I've already taken a couple flags um the game is really close and it ends up being really close the entire match till the end 
Which I think that's what really makes a game a good game when it's like you get lots of kills, plus you win by like a pretty close margin, and it's it's fun. Uh, as you can say, I, I'm tearing it up with my barat, and I'm just sort of running around, and I want to take C because, well, I like especially on Wasteland too. Wasteland's a good map for domination for many reasons. A few I just already said. But taking all three, they usually spawn at that helicopter side. So, it's so easy if you get a chopper or AC-130 and you have all three. It's so easy to just destroy a team. But yeah, and... So, okay. So this is that what you guys... Winning a game of domination with getting lots of kills, with getting lots of kill streaks, with winning the game. You start out, you all well, not on wasteland because so many people actually uh, spawn to in the beginning. Especially if, if you spawn at A, don't go for A right away. Let them shoot a couple noob tubes, like maybe like five six times sometimes they might just keep going in which case you just gotta sort of luck it out and hope hope you get it but i wouldn't go for a directly because you're just gonna get blown up and you're gonna give the enemy team like a six multi-kill and then everyone's on the other team's gonna be oh go, 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 go. but so don't go for a right away wait a second let it's okay if they get c maybe go for b all right if you have a team if you're playing with a team uh, have half the team go to B, half the team go to A, or half the team wait for A, and then, or even run straight for C if you're at spawn at A. Because if you spawn at the C side slash B side, it's, you're basically in the middle of A and B, or A and C and B, sorry. My alphabet is all messed up. C and B. So, it's pretty easy to get those the those two flags so start out taking the flags that's that should be your first goal honestly even if you're going for kills your first goal in every game of domination should be get two flags or even if you get one and the other team gets two spend spend a little while trying to get that second flag take it away if you have a team it makes it that much easier you get three people on a flag it takes probably like like three to five seconds to take that flag. You get like six people on a flag, it takes like half a second. It's not that hard to get flags. People think it is, but it's not. So yeah, I mean, as you can see now, we're winning, but by three points, and now the enemy team has two flags. So, I'm thinking at this point, I was been trying to sort of get kills and win, slash win, but now I decide I'm gonna go just more for um, winning, because, you know, Charlie Sheen, Winning, winning, sorry, I had to do it, honestly, if you say winning in a commentary, you gotta recognize Charlie Sheen, because, I mean, he's a winner, right? I think, I think he's a winner, is that what people think is a winner? Anyway, I get killed by my own freaking Harriers right there, so I was sort of pissed, but at this point, we're winning, and I'm thinking, okay, that's okay, but now someone's taking C. Another thing about taking flags in domination is that when you start to take a flag the enemy is going to run towards you now you might think that's bad but honestly i think it's good it makes the game more fun more exciting and you, you you're gonna basically know where the enemies are coming from because they they're trying to kill you so they're gonna be coming from like if you're taking c they're either gonna be take, coming from a which is not that hard to see from uh, or B, which is not that hard to see from, or it's not, it's hard to see, but they have to run around the corner, so you're probably going to see them before they see you. So, get the flags. Go for the flag. You can get kills and get a flag if you're, if you're good. I mean, I'm sniping and I'm taking flags. So, clearly, if you, like, if I had a light machine gun, like an RPD, RPD, by the way, is like my favorite light machine gun. If I had a light machine gun, or an assault rifle, or even an SMG, well, certain SMG, you 
you can get so many kills if you know essentially where the enemy's coming from and you have good aim. Triple kill! Sorry, I, I clearly already knew what was going to happen, so I had to say it. But So, go for flags. That's I guess that's just my main point. And win tips for winning domination, it's go for flags. It's not hard. You, everyone can do it. Honestly, even if you start sucking and you, like, aren't getting any kills, you, you get flags, and you'll still be, you'll still win, you'll still be happy, even if you, go, even if you have a negative KD. Honestly, I would prefer a win over a loss with a negative KD, right? Doesn't that just sound better? I personally think it just sounds better. As you can see, busting out my chopper by my super speed, that motherfucker, and yeah. But then I call in my fancy EMP just because I was trying to get the EMP kill streak accomplishment thing achievement. So yeah, I guess I guess that's it. I mean, so okay, I'm gonna summary of my points, right? You go for the flags in the beginning. Even if you don't get two of the flags, you continue to go and try and get two of the flags. Because you can keep the enemy in their one flagged area. After the game has been going a while, if the enemy has more points than you, continue to go for flags. Because remember, they will run, they will attack you if you're going for a flag. And you can shoot them while they're coming for you. So yeah, that's, that's essentially it. Like, fave, comment, subscribe. Maybe you got a few little tips I missed. I'm sure you do. Everyone's got them. This has been XX Ghost Tricks. Peace out.